back at Three Zen here this morning. So this morning we're going to trip turn, if you will. What I mean by that is you're, you're going to hear three flying stories. The first one I told was uh, on uh, stupid student tricks, putting the gear down without checking the airspeed and so forth. The second one was on um, nonverbal instruction, where sometimes it's best just to sit back and let the student figure it out himself as you're flying the jet. And the third one is going to be entitled, The Rudder in the T-38 Will Kill You. Okay, fine. Give me a break. So anyway, one of the things I like to do is to show students um, just how effective the rudder in a T-38 as, as any airplane could be if you used it properly. Yes, it could kill you and it would use, it would kill you if you just heavy booted the damn thing at the wrong time. But in other times, it was a, it was a great uh, surface to use for flying the jet. So what I would do is at some point uh, in advance to ship, I'd take the airplane myself um, for a um, uh, demonstration of extended trail. And what I'd do is get to 17,000 feet and 300 knots. I've got a wingman here on, on my left side, and i got to figure out the camera in this thing a little bit ahead of myself. There we go. So what I would do is... Uh, we call Reno 17 Flight Go Extended Trail 2. So I rolled a 60 degrees of bank and uh, fairly smartly and get the thing trimmed up for two G's. What I mean, just take the, the, the trim button, trim it up to two G's, let go of the stick. You know, if it stayed there, fine, I'm there. Once I had that trimmed up for 60 degrees of bank and two G's, then what I'd do is take uh, both my hands and put them on the mirrors. And as soon, and about that time, uh, number two would call into position. Okay, like Reno uh, 172 is in. Okay, at that point, I'd take my right uh, boot, push on right rudder, and it would bring the nose down a little bit like that. Just a right, just tapping on the right rudder. Now here, again, um, you just add a little bit of pressure. You don't, you don't heavy... I can't say ham fist it because your, your fist isn't in a boot. But anyway, you, you don't stomp on it. You just slowly put a little bit of pressure to, to increase the uh, bank here and then start downhill. So you start downhill, and as you come downhill, you're gaining airspeed and, and two's in, wherever he is, I don't know where he is. Anyway, as you come down and you get to um, an airspeed, like in this case, I'm going to use 400 knots, 450, somewhere like that. And so what we're going to do is a barrel roll. So now I take opposite rudder and I roll wings level. Now this airplane is trimmed up for um, 300 knots at 17,000 feet and that's what it wants to seek. So now it comes up like this and uh, as I hit uh, horizon, check my airspeed, I'm doing a little over 400 knots now, that's good. And what I'm going to do is a barrel roll like that, just again, just using rudder only. And you can come back around on my back, check airspeed and altitude. And usually when you come up through the horizon uh, level of flight, you're going to see somewhere in the ballpark of 300 knots and 17,000 feet, both on the way up and on the way down. Now I'm going to come back down again, let it come down. And this time I want to do a lazy eight, so I'm going to roll out a little quicker and to 350 and then come up uh, and then again just using rudder both times and so forth and down and up and so forth and now I want to set up for a loop now once I get to the loop I can't get over the top with just two G's trimmed on the airplane in that case what I'm gonna do is let the airspeed dig the nose in a little deeper with the rudder let it come downhill and then as I get to 500 knots now I have to assist it all right so I do my loop and coming out of the back side of the loop back on the rudders again and come off the stick let the airplane come up, and again, here, as I come up to, to uh, 17,300 feet, or 300 knots, I just take the rudder and bring it down like that, and here I bring my power back, rock my wings, and then level off and take the trim out, and stabilize at 300 knots, 17,000 feet. All done with rudder, except for the over-the-top maneuver. You come back to the flight room, and you debrief the other student. And you say, did you notice anything different with Leeds technique? 
No, they never they never do. They never did. Um, but what I wanted to do was to show them how you can use the rudder for flying uh, this particular mover maneuver just as well as you could the aileron. And so on the next ride or two, I'd let the student do it. And they really tended to gain an appreciation for how to to use these flight controls like that. Again, this wasn't in the syllabus. This was just something that I added in. It, it was fun for both of us, for all of us. And uh, I thought it was a, a pretty decent teaching tool. Um, and we had fun doing it. And that's what the whole idea in pilot training was anyway. So now you know how to fly extended trail with the rudder. Um, have fun with it.